and welcome to another episode of Frightfully Forgotten's Trash or Treasure. But before we get started, what are we drinking? Today we're drinking Pinhead Porter. <laughs> It'll tear your soul apart. <laughs> Jesus wept. <laughs> Today we're going to bring to you 1988's Hackle Lantern. And this one was a Patreon request by Matt. And if you want us to review a movie of your choice, feel free to join us on Patreon. The link is in the description below. <laughs> Lantern is directed by Jag Mundra, and he has mostly done pornography. <laughs> A whole lot of pornography. <laughs> Tons of pornography. Tons of pornography. <laughs> it stars High Pike, and he's in another movie we covered, Lamora. Mm -hmm. Click the link above. He was in also two cinematic masterpieces, Blade Runner and Dolomite. <laughs> I prefer Dolomite myself. hack lantern starts out this pickup truck driving and it's, the back is loaded with pumpkins. And this old guy kind of gets out of the truck and he's like, Tommy! 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 I got your pumpkin for you! Take your pick of the patch! And he also has something else for him. It's this, uh, this amulet thing. I got something special. Very special for you. Cause you're special. <laughs> Get some that special boy, Tommy. Because you are very, very special. So the parents are pretty concerned about Grandpa kind of meddling with the kids, right? It's especially Tommy under his influence. Tommy. Damn it, woman. I'm not gonna have him interfering with our son's life. I'm gonna go over there and put a stop to this. He goes over there and he interferes with the grandpa while he's doing this ritual in this barn. Like <laughs> some satanic ritual. <laughs> it's like kind of doesn't throw the dad guy off at all. He's just like, you leave my son alone. He's not affected by this at all. Yeah. Wouldn't you? You'd be like, what the fuck's going on here? That's what's Grandpa doing? <laughs> Tommy was never yours. He does these weird hand things and it puts him in this weird trance. And then he like burns him alive in this <laughs> car. <laughs> Burn in hell, Billy. Years later now, we get introduced to a much older Tommy. Tommy! He's living at home in the basement. <laughs> Some fucking bum. <laughs> yeah. He does have a lot of cool posters on the walls, though. His grandpa still has this satanic kind of influence over him. His brother, on the other hand, has become a police officer. He's gone the complete opposite direction. He has direction and a future in his life. And his sister, that we learn, is uh, starting to date. And the grandpa, we learn too, is planning something special for Tommy for his Halloween night. Very special. Tommy! Falls asleep with these headphones on. And <laughs> then he has this weird, like, fucking dream, this, like, a music video dream where he's playing guitar in this band. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Rips his head off some dummy. Yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Tommy and his girlfriend. Tommy. Super 80s run into grandpa outside like the local store and yeah. grandpa's kind of giving him the gears a bit. He's like, Tommy. Tommy. Usually I'd say screw her brains out if she had any. <laughs> yeah. But you have to stay pure for tonight. For tonight. <laughs> Get his little bud home, missy. Tommy goes home and his girlfriend goes home and she's all rich. And someone walks in wearing this devil outfit with this devil man and these robes and everything, and she thinks it's Tommy, right? Yeah. Oh, Tommy! Tommy! Takes out this, like, gardening tool, sticks it in the side of her head, and kills her. Tommy's sister has brought her new boyfriend upstairs, and they're kind of getting yeah. a little hot and heavy, and Tommy <laughs> comes home and kind of hears some ruckus, and <laughs> goes upstairs and busts the door open, and, ah! and rips the guy off and kicks him out of the house, gives him major shit. Don't you come back yeah. here! Sister's boyfriend's all pissed off, you know? He got cock blocked big yeah. time. Ah, walking through the cemetery, god damn it. <laughs> ah, shoves his shovel right through the guy's face and then buries him 
in an open grave. In the meantime, the mom is actually kind of going a little crazy because it's the anniversary of her husband's death. It's Halloween time. He died on Halloween. Kind of funny where she almost thinks and knows that her dad killed her husband. She confronts him about it too, right? Yeah. You are an alluring woman. He's all <laughs> trying to kiss his own fucking daughter. So like there's like this weird relationship there. <laughs> Tommy's sister and her friend are walking through the cemetery and they stumble upon the dead boyfriend and they freak out and they run and they come across this barn which is grandpa's barn and they go in and grandpa's there with all these people and tommy tommy having this weird satanic ritual <laughs> he's all wearing those robes over with the plaid the shirt <laughs> he's all like dressed like a farmer underneath like all those satan robes captures his own granddaughter and strings her up in this fucking hoist yeah and tells Tommy, Tommy, <laughs> Tommy, kill and sacrifice his own sister. So Tommy has a decision to make. Yeah. And that's where we're going to end the plot. So if you want to find out what happens, keep watching the movie and this review, because we'll probably wreck it for you. <laughs> so this movie is a, a straight to video horror movie, and it's a pretty highly sought after VHS tape, too. Yeah, it's kind of funny how, like, sometimes the shittier the movie, yeah, the more rare it is and the more expensive it is. Mm -hmm. Big Not, box. Big box. And I used to have a fucking copy of this VHS in my collection until some asshole came into my house and stole it while I was at home. Sounds like someone's robbing the video store. Very tense about this. Very tense. Better put on my suit. Burn in hell! Burn! Burn in hell! I'm gonna kill you! Goddamn balls off! Ah! 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 Or are you, you little piece of shit? Ah! Ah! I know what you're doing. You're counting the runtime of that tape. I know. I've done it a million times myself. Ah! If I ever catch that son of a bitch. <laughs> I hate to be that guy if, uh, if you ever catch him. So that brings us to the <laughs> treasure of hack lantern The first thing is <laughs> High Pike. <laughs> He's like a, basically a one-man show in this movie. He carries the whole thing. I come by the store to pick up some candles for your ceremony. Tommy, <laughs> you are very, very special. Yeah, very special boy, <laughs> Tommy. <laughs> the guy overacts so much. You must prove yourself to the master. He steals the show. Well, there's yeah. no other way. He has to steal the show. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> If High Pike wasn't in this movie, it wouldn't be nearly as entertaining as no. it is. It would be like boring. Yeah, yeah. If High Pike wasn't playing the grandpa. You want to follow him throughout the movie yeah. too. You want to see what he's going to get up to cuz what's, what's this old bastard up to? Yeah, exactly. Like he's doing all these fucking rituals in this barn. Another good thing about this movie is the nudity in this. You see a lot of uh, pretty, pretty ladies in this. And pretty parts of pretty ladies. <laughs> that's right. So if that's something that strikes your fancy, this has a lot of it. Good old fake 80s tits, baby. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and you got that awesome music video. Yeah. It's Tommy's fever dream or whatever. <laughs> that's actually pretty awesome. It's like... 
yeah, you like the music yeah. is good. The the video is cool, and it's the whole music video in the middle of the movie, which is pretty badass. Yeah, actually, it's pretty cool. Like, and it's super 80s. Yeah, but so it's, it's not tacky. It's like a no. good song. It's the best part of the movie at that point in the yeah. movie. You're like, this is the best part. Is this music <laughs> video? Yeah. That also kind of leads into the, like the music for this movie as well. And it's actually a little cheesy. Yeah. But because the movie is a straight-to-video kind of cheesier movie, it suits it. It's a good straight-to-video score. <laughs> and right from the opening credits, too, like when that music is playing, you know right away what you're in for. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <sighs> Cheese fest. Yep. Here we go. Pull out the cheese grater. <laughs> Grate your balls. The kills in this movie are pretty damn good too. Fork thing right into that girl's head. The shovel kill is really awesome. There's a kill in the bathroom where he tightens that girl's corset. Yeah. All, up, all tighten and stabs her in the back. And then she's all sort of sitting there in the bathroom and everyone's all talking to her like, like she's alive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And she just kind of slumps over after. He kills a dad and just burns him alive in that yeah. car. Burn it down, Billy. <laughs> and that'll lead us kind of to the characters of this movie. And they're all pretty good. Like, I mean, High Pike is like at the top, of course, but yeah. The rest of the characters are pretty decent. They're all pretty distinct. They all have their place in the movie, and they all help the movie's plot move forward, actually. Tommy as, like, the delinquent Satanist kid. His brother's the polar opposite of policeman. Sister is just kind of getting through high school, and getting into boys. And fucking horn dog. Horn dog, yeah, and, and her friend's a horn dog, yeah. too. The mother who's, like, all and upset. Crazy. And... So there's not, like, one lame character in this movie. They're all kind of pretty memorable, actually. They all help to drive that sort of murder mystery plot that's going on, too, in this movie. You're not quite sure who the killer is, because they tease, they put little clues here and there. Is it Tommy? Is it the mother? Is it the grandpa? You're not quite sure. It could be anybody. And the movie has a neat twist at the end, too. Mm -hmm. Which is, you know, again, a nice little, oh, okay, they kind of fooled me. It's called Hack-A-Lantern, and then it takes place during Halloween time, right? Yeah. And they never let you forget it, which is really good in a movie like this. There's lots of movies that take place during Halloween, you never even know it. Grandpa driving around with all the pumpkins in the back of his truck, the Halloween party. Yeah, yeah, the costumes that yeah. everybody's wearing, right? And the uh, alternate title for this movie is Halloween Night. <laughs> so there you go. Mm -hmm. That brings us to the trash about this movie. The same topic of it being on Halloween Night. This is obviously not Halloween time. This is like shot in the dead of summer, like, Everything is green and <laughs> it's all lush and everything and nice. I guess it could be shot in a part of the country where it's like that during fall. But it sure as hell doesn't feel like yeah. Halloween. <laughs> these big panoramic shots of like these vast green valleys. Like there's yeah. no orange, red leaves or anything it's just all <laughs> green another piece of trash for this movie is the reason for grandpa doing all these fucking rituals you don't know anything about the like you don't have a backstory on grandpa and all this shit that he's getting up to yeah. every <laughs> halloween night apparently yeah <laughs> doing these rituals no one's caught on to yes this. like <laughs> nobody's investigating mom seems to know that he killed her husband but no one's done anything yeah. about it he's Nobody's just allowed to do his rituals every halloween in his <laughs> barn killing all these virgins seemingly every halloween <laughs> and the acting for this movie oh my god like as, as good as the characters are they're good characters doesn't mean the acting is done well for the character. Yeah, yeah. For the most part, besides, I'd say even High Pike, because he's super fucking over. overacting, <laughs> like super overacting. Maybe the sister is good. Everyone else fucking sucks. Yeah, yeah. And it's blatant, and it's hard to watch. <laughs> like, it's like, oh my Bad. god. Like, that fucking, that dad guy. Oh. Damn it, woman. Your father needs more than just a warning. He's got a hold over Tommy. I'm gonna go over there and stop it. Don't give me this crap. 
You come around him again, I'm gonna bust you wide open. <laughs> and Tommy sucks too. Oh. Tommy's horrible. Oh yeah. They're all fucking horrible. And the dialogue in this movie is actually <laughs> pretty fucking <laughs> bad too. And it's a lot of pointless dialogue too. Just, yeah. It's just droning on and on. Oh my god. God. Starts off with a bang, actually, mm -hmm. with, you know, the grandpa killing the dad in the beginning in the barn. But then it just goes on to, like, just drama and droning on about, ah, Tommy! Yeah. Tommy! What's going on here? Like, it's just talking and talking and talking and then, oh, there's a kill! Yeah. And then talking and talking. Yeah. So it's good for character building, but for a schlocky, straight-to-video horror movie like this, Give me a bit more blood and guts. Yeah, you need more to carry this movie, right? Because yeah. it ain't got nothing else. Yeah. The showdown at the party there was a bit of a letdown, too. Two people show up at the party in that same devil mask. Yeah. And then they start to fight, and then as soon as it starts, it's over! It's like, over like, oh, oh! Where's the big epic showdown? They're all fighting up the stairs like that sword fight. Yeah. Like a pirate sword fight up the stairs, and then it's just over. Yeah, and then the grandpa's all dead, and it's like... <laughs> <laughs> Tommy! So, Hacker Lantern, trash or treasure? Gotta say, trash. You know, I might actually change my vote. <laughs> oh, really? Now that we've talked about it <laughs> a bit, I might say treasure. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you know, just because originally I was going to say trash, but now that we've kind of like discussed it on camera, I'm like, the treasure part is actually pretty long. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah, you know, like High Pike, I think, is maybe. He's the biggest reason to watch this movie. Yeah. He's pretty damn entertaining. Treasure to watch once. <laughs> Give it a go. It's, it's it's kind of fun. Yeah. It's not a good movie. <laughs> no. But it's almost so bad it's fun. It's a good Halloween night movie because it takes place on Halloween night. Yeah. You know, so it's actually not a bad Halloween night movie just to have over there. Yeah, to not pay too much attention because yeah. there really isn't anything deep. About this yeah. movie. <laughs> <laughs> so there you have it. There's 1988's Hack o' Lanterns. And until next time, keep drinking. Keep drinking, Tommy!